All right, good morning everybody. Thanks for joining us again today. I'm Bill Hurtado with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm gonna to show you a new acquisition we just brought in. This is a pre-owned 2020 Canyon Star, model 3747. Uh, that's indicative of having three slide outs. We'll get to the floor plan in just a minute, but let's touch upon some of the nice high points on this thing. So obviously, as you can see right off, full body paint. That's a big deal on this thing. Um, people know that have had full body paint versus graphics, this is gonna look good for 20 years. So big difference there, that's really nice. Um, we do have the side camera package on this one, integrated in with the turn signals. Instead of being up high in the mirror right here, this is a lot more user friendly down at this level looking down the side of the unit, be it maneuvering into a gas station or looking for a blind spot. Somebody here in a little smart car, let's say, that you just can't see otherwise. So nice setup right there. This also comes with the Alcoa aluminum wheels. Those are coated wheels, uh, which is important to point out because not all of the Alcoas are. So this is an upgraded aluminum wheel that again is gonna retain that shine and beauty for a lot of years. Moving on back this way, um, I went ahead and opened up all of the compartments here because I wanted you to see these individually as we move down the line. Obviously, we've got the Numar very thick, fully insulated doors. And looking on this side right here, you can see the 1200 watt inverter in that compartment. There's really nice storage on this unit. So no wall in between these two compartments. So you can get some long items in that way. But also you have very generous storage in the back with your pass through going across. This area over here, this comprises your holding tanks. Your freshwater tank is actually over the wheels this way. Access to your uh, onboard central vac system so you can replace the filter real easy out here and then the hose kit that comes with it by definition central vac means that this is in the center of the coach and now the hose system reaches each end easily all right so michelin tires on this thing you know, arguably the best tires out there no doubt about it uh, this unit has 9,500 miles on it right now, and these tires feel virtually new to me. Lots of deep tread on there. So that's looking good. As I mentioned, ample storage on this unit. So you can see your pass-throughs alongside the fresh water tank there. Very generous with their storage space. And then the second holding tank back here is because of the bath and a half floor plan that we have on this. The master bath is back here in the back. The half bath is midships on this. We're gonna to touch upon that a little bit more as we move along. Um, this is the first year that Numar started redesigning their front and rear cap. Very nice with the little lines, good flat surface, great graphics, the accents with the chrome back here. Very well done. They did a nice job making it look good. Right now, this has a 5,000 pound hitch on it, but the true tow rating of this motorhome is 6,000 pounds. So it could be upgraded if you're on the edge there pulling more than that. But uh, typically 5,000 is gonna pull just about any dinghy or small trailer, motorcycle trailer, that kind of thing with ease. So plenty of tow capacity there. All right, so over here, um, part of the utility hookups is gonna be your 50 amp service over here. And then you've also got your cable TV in over here on the side so when you're at that campground you can get all the channels just by hitting the search on your television 
This is the other side of the freshwater tank. Uh, it's got the drain, real easy to get to. It's just an L valve that opens and closes right there. Moving up this way, this is gonna be your sewer hose storage. So it's just a metal compartment that's kind of open to the outside. So you're not gonna get any smell from the sewer hose inside if you didn't properly rinse out that thing. Easy access for you. Fuel fill right over here. It's got a 75 gallon tank on it. There's our other side of the pass through. All right. Just want to mention those wheels again. They're so sharp looking. When you have a nice full body paint design and those shiny aluminum wheels, it's, it's great looking. It really is. Utility station over here. This is a nice user-friendly utility station. Working from right to left, we have hot and cold running water outside. We have a water pump switch, so we're not yelling to mom inside, hey, would you please turn that pump on? Uh, we've got the sewer tank flush out for both tanks adjacent to one another there. So you can completely clean out the entire uh, sewage system on this thing just by hooking a hose there and spraying those out. You've got the high-speed tank fill left of that. So again, you're hooked up to city water, which is the far left hose connection. You can flip that valve down. It's going to high-speed fill the water into the tank. When it comes shooting out underneath, your tank is full. Flip it back to normal position. I guess I had those two backwards, but you understand. Um, and then you're ready to go on your, on your trip with a full tank of water. Next to that is the full house water filtration system. So you're getting strange water from different places. You can rest assured that it's going to be purified when it gets inside the unit there. Wanted to mention that these compartments right here, you notice are kind of a white plastic. That's called rotocast and it's been used for many years here. Um, the white is really uh, kind of nice looking. I think it's better looking than the black myself. If you're out here at night and you're trying to do stuff, um, that'll allow a little residual light in here so you can see what you're doing. Now these compartments are lighted, but by the same token, the white is really nice. Rotocast is um, known for holding 400 pounds of weight which is really great. There's no way you can get 400 pounds in there. Maybe if you're a cement contractor, but uh, good to know. Those are nice and strong. One piece. Over here, for those of you that have watched my previous Canyon Star video, I made mention to this clear hose right here. This is a big deal to me. I've got a long history in the service department. I've been around Colorado here for almost 40 years. And winterizing an RV is crucial, as many of you know. Um, we kind of make the, the frame of having a unit winterized tax, uh, excuse me, uh, Halloween through tax day. Well, sometimes there's some exceptions. But what about the guy that wants to pull it out in those months and take it out and use it, bring it back and rewinterize it. This makes it super easy. Two gallons of antifreeze will do the entire unit. We're talking $10 in cost. About 10 minutes when you get really good at this. Your first one may take 20. That's fine, but you're gonna know your coach really well and now you can, you can winterize and dewinterize yourself in a matter of minutes. Saves a lot of money. Saves the hassle of bringing it into the dealer. Well done, Numar. All right, so the generator on this one, this unit was standard with the 5,500 watt generator. Um, originally, this was ordered in with the upgraded 7,000 watt. It's running right now, nice and quiet. The reason 7,000 is important is because We've got two 15,000 BTU air conditioners on this with heat pumps. 
and of course the microwave. With the 7000 you can run all three of those at the same time. Whereas with the 5500 you're risking throwing a breaker probably on the generator with an overload. So rest assured you can do it all with the 7000. This has got the dual 6 volt batteries that are on a slide tray that makes it easy to slide those out and service those. Uh, six volts are important because they're gonna give, two sixes is gonna give you about 30% more reserve capacity than two 12 volt batteries. And then the propane on this one is ample. It's very generous in size, it's 31 gallon tank. So uh, if you plan on doing some uh, extensive boondocking or just don't wanna fill up on every single trip, 31 gallons is going to give you a lot of capacity right there. All right. This particular one does have frameless windows where applicable. Notice in the slides, they don't do frameless windows that tilt out for obvious reasons, slide going in and out. But these are all dual pane windows as well. So a little bit extra insulation on top of what Numar does in their build, <laughs> which is great. But more importantly, it's a real knockdown of environmental noise. So if you're alongside a busy highway or somebody's running their generator next to you, uh, very quiet inside. I made mention of the insulation aspect on this. Many of you know Numar is a premier builder in the industry. They have been for a lot of years, a lot of decades. They have a six layer roof system five layers on the side walls and floor, vapor barriers on all sides, multi-layer insulation. Um, I love the way they, they use C-channel for their aluminum framework, which gives you the ability to have that fiberglass batten insulation come all the way together on the inside, so no gaps. And without that tubular aluminum, you're not gonna get the lines down the outside when the climate changes be it from warm to cold or dry to wet. Um, it's always going to be dry inside and a smooth finish on the outside without those moisture lines building up. So it's a little bit more of a process to build a unit that way, but the benefits last a lifetime. So that's the reason Numar does it. I think we should take a look inside. I want to show you this floor plan. It's a beauty. All right. I think I would like to take you folks from the back towards the front. Um, it might be a little bit easier for us to see everything that way and we don't have to keep jumping around. Master bedroom, master bath. This bath impresses me a lot. And the big reason for that is the storage. The storage is phenomenal in this thing. So if we can, let's get a look at big corner cabinet right here. Another small compartment here. Two fairly large drawers, although the other one comes into the toilet so it's not quite as deep right there but still width and depth in the drawers is fantastic. Porcelain toilet, lots of counter space, single farmhouse style sink, huge compartment down here, another small compartment over here. I know I'm starting to get winded talking about the storage on this thing, it's so incredible. Great medicine cabinet, three tiers. And then if you can, Jordan, we want to look at this last piece of storage, which is going to be like the linen closet. It's huge. It's full height, ceiling to floor. Now, some people look at a shower, a neo-angle shower like this, and they think, 
Now that's going to be a little bit tight for my husband. Well, let me give you a gauge on this. I'm six foot, and thanks to my five-week plant-based diet now, I just fell below the 250-pound mark. So I'm not small, but you can gauge it with the size of, let's say, your husband, ladies. Look at it that way. I fit in here great. I got plenty of room. I've got plenty more height up above. With this closed up, no problem. Plenty big shower. It's a little deceiving looking at it without a body in there. So rest assured, it's plenty big. All right, so moving this direction, I wanted to make mention to this, is, this bedroom also is fantastic. It has two huge closet areas. So his and hers, or maybe he only gets half of one, doesn't matter. Lots of room in there. Three huge drawers on the middle tier, and then three more huge drawers on the floor tier. There's a uh, large television straight across from the bed. And then under the bed, we have more storage with extra dinette chairs. And then these two leaves. I'm gonna talk about those when we get up to the dinette. But lots of storage in this area as well. I love what Newmar did here. This, you may not be able to get the angle to see this, but imagine you're laying on the bed and directly overhead with your head facing up are controls for your lighting, um, your accent lighting, your ceiling lighting. Um, let's see, the back lighting. Um, oh, high and low range on those. You can even adjust the intensity of the blue light on the light switch. So from off to three more settings of brightness there. The other thing that I love that what these guys did was they've got these openings in the bottom of the cabinet right here. And a lot of people need CPAP machines. You have two options on this. CPAP in here, plugged into AC power, running down to the person down here. Or if you don't like the idea of it being up away from you there, you've got AC outlets on both sides of the bed and you can have it draped up this way. So I've heard people say they don't like this. I've heard people say they don't like this. They prefer the opposite. Well, you got a choice here. You can try it both ways. Um, the accent lighting, it's just fantastic. Numar does such a great job with that. So all of the slide faces have this really nice soft glow of light. If this is the only thing on at night when you are traveling down the road or sleeping, it gives you a nice glow inside here. You can see everything you want, but it's not hard on the eyes. All right, so working our way back up towards the living area. Midships here, we have a Splendid washer and dryer, separate units. So obviously you can get laundry done about four times faster than the combo units. So that's really fantastic. The half bath right here. One of the big reasons for a half bath is because the floor plan will prevent people from accessing the main bath while you're in transit. We all wanna be able to use the restroom. We wanna be able to get to the refrigerator. Those are the two most important things while you're traveling. So the half bath on this one Again, storage, my gosh, for a small space, but again, you're not having to have the door open with your knees there. You've got two more drawers, I'm uh, sorry, four more drawers, another cabinet down below, a huge medicine cabinet up above, and then three more areas for storage up here. Everywhere they had a chance to give you some storage space, they did it. Again, very well done. Okay, here we are in the main cabin. 
Some of the things I like in here. First off, the indirect lighting in the ceiling, recessed back into the corners right here. Um, very nice accent lighting that accompanies the slide faces there. So a soft light can be on when you're driving, doesn't interfere with the driver. You don't get any of that reflection off the windshield from up here. So it's, a, it's a nice way to travel down the road. Um, galley space, important to a lot of people. So this has uh, very excellent uh, counter space up above right here. With the angled seat sink, it opens up some areas for you this direction. Um, you've got seven drawers plus the little sponge holder thing right here. And this is accessed from either direction right here. You can see the sticker down there when you uh, go back to what I was speaking of earlier. When you're winterizing, you're going to want to bypass the water heater. So no question about how to do that. And then, almost like a curio cabinet, over here, extra storage pantry-wise. You may look at this and you think, well, it's not very deep, so I can't get much in there. Well, you know, maybe you're right if this was the only spot you were going to be using. But, leave it to Numar, they give you space everywhere possible. And all of their units are engineered for excellent pantry space. So, six full-length drawers right here. These are adjustable for different height items. Now we're talking plenty of storage. So, I love it. I love what they've done here again. Whirlpool Refrigerator. Obviously a trusted name in appliances with an ice maker built in. Unlike an RV refrigerator, you have full depth right here. So you don't have those fins to contend with knocking out a third of your storage space. Space, space, space. That's like all I talk about. All right, so moving along over here. This is the dinette that has those matching fold-up chairs. So if you choose to use one or two of the leaves under the bed right there, you can get to about this depth. Plenty of room for those four chairs. When you're not using it, folds up, chairs go back away. So you've got some nice options right there. While you're looking over here, Nice view out to the patio side, but also that's straight across from the, there it goes, that's straight across from the, um, okay, I thought I had this thing working a second ago there. Straight across from the sofa, so this is where you're looking at the uh, televator, which it worked for a second, but I'll have to look into that. Anyway, nice big, television comes all the way up here completely blocks that window of course you still have the shades that come down so you don't get any backlight around that um, this unit comes with the optional ottomans so matching fabric just the perfect height across from the sofa with a slight down right there um, so it kind of legitimizes this sofa which is also a jackknife sofa bed um, as a lounge area looking straight across from the television just like all Numar products in their class A's the front seats do swivel around adding that much more seating area to the living area now I want to show you a couple things up here in the front This has the uh, Ford F53 chassis, 26,000 pound GVWR. It has the uh, V10 with 320 horsepower, six speed transmission. Dual screens up here for the driver. So you've got your navigation, your stereo system, your backup camera, your side cameras on two different screens so you're not constantly having to switch the input on one or the other to get to the screen that you want to see. You can have two things going all the time. 
Also, we've got a couple of nice high-speed USB ports over here, and these will uh, these are 2.1 amps, so they'll do tablets up here. Um, over on this side, you do have the automatic leveling system made by Equalizer. Uh, very simple. Turn the system on, hit auto level. Takes about four minutes for it to finish and get itself into position there. Remote heated mirrors. And then this switch right here, one of the most important things. I have this on my older motorhome. Uh, this is something that Winnebago invented years ago, but it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. So let's imagine we're driving along late at night. It's cold out there and you've got your dash heat going to kind of keep this area warm. Well, it's only going to make it about halfway back through the coach and back in the back back there. It's really cold. Two speed auxiliary heater. So this has heater hoses running all the way back to a register in the very back. Depending on how much warmth you want back there, you turn it on high or low. Now you are heating your unit off the engine from the front and rear to the center. So the entire coach gets a nice comfortable feel to it. It's a simple thing, but it's priceless. And why more manufacturers don't do that, I, I just can't tell you because it's like I say, the greatest thing. I, I love mine. All right, so pretty simple up here. Um, don't forget, uh, before I forget, don't forget to uh, look at our uh, information on the bottom of the screen down here. Uh, this is how you can contact us uh, via our website. And I'll give you a little bit more information at the end here how to contact me directly if you have any questions. The co-pilot station over here. Again, this is kind of important. You know, the co-pilot, she is also the navigator. Um, don't mean to say she, it could be he. But this person has, you know, specific duties as well. Well, I love what they did right here. They gave this person the ability to have a little workstation. Um, they've also got their switch for a map light up above that'll shine down. How many times have you seen the doggy bed up here on the dash? This isn't a contoured or convoluted dashboard right here. It's nice and flat. So it, it always cracks me up when I'm, when I'm the opposing oncoming traffic and I see the doggy bed up here with the little dog looking out the front window. It's, it's pretty cool. Very easy to do on this one. All right. You notice the windows have more tinting up above then down below for obvious reasons that, that keeps it nice in here but if you need that sun completely blocked out you can do so all right this unit already has the wine guard in motion satellite system on it so that's a super nice feature that was factory installed on this unit and this also has the um, uh, rain sensor built in in the galley area over there uh, so it'll automatically close the lid turn the fan on and off there's three speeds for that so you're not having to reach up to the ceiling to access that finally command central now there's some cool stuff on here in this touch panel right here you can go straight to your tank levels and you can see exactly where you're at Remember this has two grays and two blacks. And then you see what your chassis battery voltage is, your house battery voltage. You can turn tank heaters on in case you're maybe traveling uh, in extreme cold weather or boondocking out somewhere where you don't have the ability to keep those tanks warm. You can turn your water pump switch on and off from out here. And then you can also adjust your temperature via heat and air conditioning, two zones, living room and bedroom. So you can program this thing for different times of day and different temperatures. Nice setup. Water heater, gas and electric. So it does both your choice. Uh, there's that 
panel for the 1200 watt inverter. So remember that is going to power up things such as the CPAP machine, so the plugs alongside the bedroom over there, an outlet in the galley, and the refrigerator. So all of those things can essentially run off a battery. Um, your awning in and out from over here. There's lights on the awning, which is a full LED light strip. Looks very nice at night. Soft glowing light. Again, easy on the eyes. Step switch. The step switch being in the on position like this is what I call the patio position. So every time you go in and out the door, the steps aren't going to retract and extend. They're going to stay in that position. If you forget when you're ready to take off, well, the motorhome's smarter than we are. So as soon as you turn the key on, it overrides, it brings the steps up. You can safely travel. You're not going to knock those things off of there. Full system battery disconnect. So if you're storing the unit, obviously you can turn your batteries off right here. Um, slide out controls, obviously pretty simple. And then up here, uh, this panel right here will tell you exactly how much power you're using, what you're connected to. We're on the generator right now. Uh, we may be on a 20 amp, 30 amp, or 50 amp circuit. If we're on anything below a 50, we're only gonna be able to run one air conditioner and we can't use the washer dryer at that point. So we need 50 amp or generator to do all of those at the same time. Um, I think that's pretty good right there. Now, I did want to, I thought it'd be nice to show you guys this thing closed up so you can see how much space there is in here when you're in the travel position. So let me just grab my clipboard. And we'll bring these two front slides in right here because this is the area that be it the co-pilot in transit wants to be able to come back and access. So I like to, <laughs> nice job. I like to get these out of the way because all, all of this comes together right here. I'm not sure there was enough room for our Ottomans in there. So we're going to bring in, this is the what we call the door side slide out. This looks like a 30 inch slide to me. Um, over on this side, since you have the galley in the slide room, just FYI, galley slides are never more than 18 inches in depth. Uh, that's across the board with every manufacturer. And I'm sure they do that because of the plumbing involved. Um, also the propane line, uh, the drains. All right, that one's all the way in. Nice quiet operation on these slides too. Always wanna watch this spot right here. So just get in the habit of when you're moving the slides to take a look right here. If I brought this in, it would hit the seat. So I'm gonna move this back forward so it's clear of that spot. Now plenty of room for it to move in right there. Okay, so I could have gotten away with leaving the Ottomans in here, but I would have had to sidestep them a little bit. Yeah, no big deal. Um, what's important here, like I said, coming back, accessing the refrigerator, accessing the bathroom. You can do it on this unit. You can get into both, and those are the two key things that you wanna be able to, to get to. All right, so Canyon Star. If you've watched my previous videos on Canyon Star, you know that I'm a big fan. Newmar quality. 
this is in a price point along with the other guys that don't have the same things that Numar has. They don't have the multi-layer insulation. They don't have the vapor barriers on all sides. They certainly don't have the Amish built cabinetry coming out of Napanee, Indiana. Fantastic. Numar really knows how to do it right. I didn't mention it, but this is a fully decked 5 inch, 5 8 inch thick floor. That's rock solid. There's no soft spots anywhere on this thing. Feels like I'm at home. So, if you're looking for a great coach made by Numar, I highly want you to consider the Canyon Star. I can be easily reached. I'm, like I say, Bill Hurtado with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're in Frederick, Colorado. Feel free to call me anytime. Uh, my office, if I'm sitting at my desk, which you wouldn't know otherwise, um, I'll pick the phone up right away. Otherwise, my cell phone is always accessible to me right here in my pocket. I love texting, that's a great way to go. Email, I answer my emails right away, uh, except when I'm asleep. And uh, very easy to get a hold of me anytime. I'm sure you're gonna have some questions on this and I look forward to helping you get the answers you're looking for. All right, signing off from TransWest Truck Trailer RV, I'm Bill Hurtado. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch.